explain how to quickly find the information needed to make effective business decisions using inquiry tools and reports and inventory control. Inquiry tools include sales statistics, transaction statistics, current transaction inquiry, item location detail quantity inquiry, and stock transaction inquiry. Reports include the item status report, the item evaluation report, and the transaction history, to name a few. Please note that when trying to find information quickly, an inquiry tool will pull the required data faster than a report. Let's have a look at some of the commonly used inquiry tools, starting with sales statistics. The sales statistics tool is used to view an item's sales and return statistics for any given year, period, and location. The transaction statistics tool is used to view an item's transaction statistics for any given year and period. The current transactions inquiry tool is used to view an item's sales orders in order entry and purchase orders in purchase orders. It is possible to drill down to the source document by double clicking on the appropriate row. The transactions history inquiry tool is used to view an item's transaction history in inventory control, order entry, and purchase orders. It is again possible for you to drill down to the source transaction. You can also apply filters by as ad date, item number, category code, and location. The LIFO FIFO inquiry tool is used to view a FIFO LIFO item's cost quantity bucket history. The Bill of Materials component usage inquiry tool is used to list all bombs in which the item appears. It is possible to drill down to the other source bombs. The item location detail quantity inquiry tool is used to look up items on sales order from the order entry module on purchase orders from the PO module and to view items committed to sales orders in the order entry module. When working with the inventory control reports, it may be useful to know that the reports are grouped into three categories. The first category is price and sales analysis reports. These reports analyze item sales as well as the prices of those items. The second category is for stock control reports. These contain detailed information about inventory items. The third category is setup reports. These show information relating to the setup of inventory control. Let's have a look at some of the commonly used reports, beginning with the item status report. The item status report shows an item's properties, including statistics and quantities on hand. The item valuation report shows the value of an item at any given location. It is possible to view the valuation of inventory at the specified date, given that the relevant transaction history is intact. The transaction history report lists the transactions that have been made to items. It shows the net changes by account set and period. Note that the day end processing function should be run prior to running this report. This is how you use inventory control inquiries and reports.